Somad has uh, publicly promoted extremist divisive teachings. Well, let me give you some examples. First, he has claimed that suicide bombing attacks are legitimate and they are legitimate martyrdom operations. You know, this kind of support for violence, in our view, is very dangerous. Uh, he, second, he has also made highly uh, derogatory, denigrating remarks about Christianity. For example, he has said that infidel spirits, jinns, he calls them, live on the crucifix. He even tells Muslims not to travel in Red Cross ambulances with crucifixes because, you know, the cross. Um, you think this is acceptable in Singapore? And how would Muslims feel, for example, if we allowed a Christian preacher to come in to say things about the Quran or the Crescent in the Islamic context? He advises Muslims to cover up any crucifixes display so that they can avoid dying as an infidel because the cross is not covered and they die, then they will die as an infidel. And he has said Muslims should not wish others Merry Christmas. He has labeled non-Muslims as kafirs, uh, infidels. Uh, that's most of you here and most Singaporeans. He has preached that Muslims should not accept non-Muslims as their leaders, given that uh, he says non-Muslims could conspire to oppress Muslims and, I quote, slit, slit their throats. You would consider that acceptable in Singapore? These are just some examples. You know, if someone said this in Singapore, ISD would be visiting him or her, and they'll be behind bars. So the language, the rhetoric, as you can see, is very divisive, completely unacceptable in Singapore. Racial, religious harmony we consider fundamental to our society, and most Singaporeans accept that. So much, uh, we have known of him for some time. You know, some of the people that ISD has investigated in Singapore for radicalization, one of the things we picked up is that they were watching videos of uh, Somat, were following his uh, preachings. One of them is, uh, was a 17-year-old detained under the Internal Security Act in uh, two years ago, January 2020. He had watched Somat's YouTube lectures on suicide bombing. And the young boy began to believe that if you fought for ISIS, and if you are a suicide bomber, you will die, you can die as a martyr and receive rewards in heaven. So you can see so much preachings have real world consequences.